Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining angle of repose. So, let's get started. Angle of repose, to explain it, suppose if we have an inclined plane and over that plane, if a block is kept, then due to its own self weight, the block would try to slide down. So, this angle of repose is that angle in which the block kept on it is just on the point of sliding down. So, it is a limiting angle which gives us the value of the force or we can say when the body is in limiting equilibrium. Limiting equilibrium means it is just on the point of sliding down. So, for that I will explain it with the help of a diagram. Here is a block which is kept on this surface. This surface is rough having coefficient of friction mu. Here I am drawing two axes. One is parallel to this plane, other would be perpendicular to the plane. Now this angle of repose is that angle of this inclined plane with the horizontal. In which the block is just starting to slide down or it is on the point of sliding down due to its own weight. So first of all the weight of the block, it will be acting in a vertically downward direction, weight is equal to m into g. Then the angle of repose is denoted by this angle which is called as alpha. So even here the angle is alpha and how it is alpha I will quickly explain that since this angle is alpha here we are having this right angle triangle I will call it as triangle O. This is A B. So in triangle O B A here it is a perpendicular line so this angle is 90 this is alpha so this angle becomes 90 minus alpha. And when this is 90 minus alpha, this opposite angle is also 90 minus alpha. And here this line is 90 degree. So when this is 90 degree, here is 90 minus alpha. So the remaining angle is alpha, which is over here. So since the weight is inclined at an angle of alpha, it would be having two components. One which is parallel to the plane. parallel to the plane and the other component would be perpendicular to the plane. So here since alpha is given with respect to this perpendicular we can say component so its value would be w cos alpha and this parallel component would be w sin alpha. Opposite to W cos alpha since it is perpendicular to the plane a normal reaction is offered in the upward direction. So here is the normal reaction denoted by R suffix N. Then since the block would be sliding down as we can clearly see from this diagram the component of W cos alpha will keep the block in contact with this surface. Whereas due to W sin alpha component it would try to slide down. So the motion of the object is in the downward direction. Whereas friction we know it is opposite to motion. So friction force denoted by F value is mu Rn would be acting in the upward direction. So in short we can say that angle of repose is the angle made by an inclined plane with the horizontal wherein if we keep an object it is just on the point of sliding down and when it is on the point of sliding down the value of force of friction is maximum and that is called as the limiting force of friction. So alpha is nothing but the angle of repose. So in short that was a video regarding what is meant by angle of repose. At the end 
If you all find my videos helpful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.